find America's top theatrical talents on the cross streets of Broadway and Maine. I love it. She's always been my favorite princess just because she's so unique and strong-willed. Why don't you give him a chance? Why should I? Did he give my father a chance? I love that she doesn't fall into the trap that most princesses do of just being uh, submissive in her own story. This production is quite grand, just seeing everybody's costumes and how big they are is... Specifically, too, I have the big golden gown. You will join me for dinner. That is not a request. I'm playing the misunderstood prince, also known as the Beast. He actually has the biggest arc in the entire show. His, his growth is, is unlike any other because he has to transform not just physically, but emotionally. No hope she would do so. No point to pursue. It's not just a, a theme park character with a giant fake head on and completely covered in prosthetics where he's unrecognizable as a human. You can see the man inside of our beast in this production trying to break out. During the Beauty and the Beast song, there's a real discovery for Beast of, of understanding affection. Tale as old as time, song as old as night. Beauty and the beast. Physically dancing with them is the first time that he's ever been touched and not been feared. Will you be some he man's property? Good news that he man's me. My name's Elliot, I'm playing Gaston, who is, of course, desperately in love with Belle. And I am LeFou, and I'm Gaston's right-hand man, and... Sidekick. Everybody's seen the movie. We don't need them to just come see the live movie. We need them to come and have fun and see what's different about the live show. Evan has done such a good job of letting us have fun. literally tosses my entire body across the stage multiple times throughout the show and it's it is a blast. So no one has guns like a stomp? <laughs> I hope so. I'm working on it. All right. Same. <laughs> <laughs> playing Belle's father, uh, Maurice. It starts, I have this first scene that's very charming and, and it's very bonding, it's father-daughter. And the rest of the play is, is it, it gets really intense to me because I, I immediately get locked in a dungeon. No matter what you do, I'm on your side. And if my point of view is somewhat misty, I'm usually the serious and the sort of the uptight one. I can't remember the last time I've done a show that is so positive. I'll be cooking again, be good looking again, with a mademoiselle on each arm. So I play Lumiere, who is the French maitre d' of the castle. I'll unwind for a change. Really? That would be strange. I can't help it if I'm... And I'm Cogsworth, head of the household. <laughs> Becoming him, it's just easy, it's like a slipping on a glove because I've been wanting to be this character since I was five. First off, we get to play so much. Like we have the relationship that we've built is so comical and so funny. Be a guest. Put our service to the test. One of my favorite lines that I say in the entire show. But what is dinner without a little music? Music. <laughs> and it doing that line just sets me up for the entire rest of the song. Be our guest. The show itself embodies the Christmas spirit of being together with family. I mean, Belle has a very strong relationship with her father, um, but it's just a very heartwarming show, so I think that come the holidays, people are really going to 
lean into that. We are just drinking.